we are running this on the anniversary, the 80th anniversary of Ramrod 564, better known now as Operation Jericho. So this mission um, was set forth by and ordered by the SOE in MI6, although there's also controversy over this also regarding was it ordered by the French resistance. The idea is a prison break. Um, the, again, more controversy as to the actual reason for this prison break. One is that the, some of the prisoners knew about D-Day, which was going to happen later. So the idea was to break them out or sadly kill them so the Germans couldn't learn the details. This is going to be the crewing. So basically, we'll divvy out. Um, I take flight leads. Um, David, you're taking Red 1. So you'll be flying as um, Wing Commander Smith. And myself will be taking Dipeg Yellow 1. Um, so Pilot Officer Darrell. So... Again, it's just a matter of giving out. Um, I think for you, Cap, you're probably better being in Dipeg Yellow flight. I think you'll get some of the better footage from there. Okay. So if you want to take Yellow 2, the actual com um, formation compositions, um, we're going to be in flight of 3, so either VIX or Echelon. So keep it tactical. You're going to be very low level. And above all, watch out for Wake. Wake is on. Okay? It is a thing. So, okay, here's our routing out. We'll be um, taken off out of Detling. David, you'll orbit us over the head until we've got everyone airborne. So take good spacing on takeoff again because of the wake. Once we're all set to board, we'll fly down to High Holden. High Holden is the base where the fighters are at. So again, if you fighter guys get airborne and start circling the airfield, you'll pick us up. You, they're all um, Spitfires and they've all got drop tanks. Do confirm you've got the um, slipper tanks on board and do use them. So from there, we'll set course down to New Haven. From where we'll head across to Krill. Krill will be coming, taking this northerly route up where we'll pick up the Albert Road to be running into the prisoner Amion. And again, off target, We'll be heading up to, there's a bridge here, some lakes, and back out where we pick up the return leg out, back up to Krill, back up to Hastings, and back home for tier medals. Mm -hmm. We will be at low level, so treetop height all of the way. Um, the cloud base is interesting, and so is the weather. The weather for the actual raid was appallingly bad with snow showers, and they did lose airplanes because of that. Okay. So you will also have the RVF form 4255s. These are showing the actual navigation for the route. So again, these are all in your knee boards. So you'll see the um, heading slash track you'll be flying, for example, and your timings for your legs. Again, this is probably more critical to yourself, David, which you know already. Again, for the second red aircraft, off target, you'll clearly be catching up the other flight ahead of you. So you may have to do a little bit of nav so your bit of nav will be off target, probably picking us up on this outbound leg. This is the um, prison itself. This is the actual original um, briefing model used for the raid. So this is where you're going to be attacking, depending on where you are. So the first thing to note is the road on the far side of the prison. This is the Albert Road, which we'll be running down. So in a sense, we'll be coming from the left-hand side of the screen through to the right-hand side of the screen. Okay, Diapeg Red. Your target is this wall, okay? The bombs have got 11 second fusing. Diapeg Red will attack the um, wall here, so pitch your bombs just shy of the wall, and they'll hopefully skip in and destroy sections of the wall. At the same time, Yellow, Diapeg Yellow, will be coming in to attack the other face of this wall, the eastern wall. Oh, sorry, the northern wall. We'll be That's taking out the northern wall, okay? And then, Beyond that, cannon flight, you'll be doing a lazy orbit further up the road, which I'll show you in a minute. And once you've done that, you'll be in a to attack this building just outside the prison wall. This is the um, guard room. So you'll be taking out the guards, okay, in this section. Again, pitch your bombs slightly short and do not arm them. I'm going to show you now the actual run in. So we'll be coming in from the right hand side of the screen, which is Albert. And the prison itself is located just here on the edge of Amion. So this road is quite a distinctive feature. So the bombs have got 11 second fusing. So each flight of three will be going in together. So be with the, you want the 
first airplane and the last airplane definitely within 11 seconds of each other again watching the wake so set off to each the side of each other so again you want to all be across as the three within 11 seconds and this goes for every flight you'll be all bombing together okay so the first flight's going to run in down the road and when we hit this point here you see there's a clear break in this village this yellow flight of diapeg will be breaking right at this point and following this road up getting into position to attack the other wall and at this point as we break to the right you will actually see the lead flight red flight still tracking down and again we'll have their explosions going off as we're turning in to attack at this point um cannon red you will throw an orbit here very loose lazy orbit to give spacing and again if you have to go around a second time if you're not happy that we've cleared the target do not fly in to our bombs okay but don't forget, the longer you delay, the potentially the enemy are getting aware of our whereabouts. And plus, you're going to have a harder job catching us up on the XFIL. But please do not fly between our bombs because, again, you're going to blow yourselves up in 11 second timings. Okay. But just to be clear for cannon flight, that's one single orbit and then mm -hmm. head into yes. target. Is that correct? Yes. Um, again, if you feel that you've not got ample spacing from the previous yellow flight, which will be attacking in from the other direction do throw another orbit you'll clearly hear red um, dipeg red dropping their bombs over the radio and again yellow will be calling our progress as well in so again take your time do not um you know if you feel that you've got to throw an orbit even if you get you are starting you run in and you feel you no know, you've not got time again just throw an orbit Roger, you're, okay. only, you're only so, looking to gain about 30 seconds or so 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 an orbit hmm. should be fine yeah, okay, one orbit so... should be sufficient, but during the actual raid, they did throw a second orbit. So if you need to, do so. And that was a very late orbit as well, day through. But again, you can use this as a bit of a racetrack if you need to, if you need to gain any timings, take that as you will. Okay? Be aware, don't forget, there is an enemy airfield down off, just off the screen here, beyond that river. So you don't want to stray particularly too far that way. Okay? Even... I dare say I'd go back the route we've come. I will note up at Albert as well is the BMW factory, and that is defended by flak. So again, you do not want to be getting too close to Albert itself. Okay, you can also see here the exfil. You can see the river clearly running up out of our Amion. So you'll probably overshoot slightly and you'll pick it up and we'll exfil. Again, watch the wake and watch the bombs. So just a bit of um, briefing, we've kind of, Talked our departure plan, don't rush it. We'll be in the overhead, take it easy. We'll use channel A for Apple throughout the thing, but I think we're now just going to use Discord, so we'll stick with that. But do not um, overuse the chat, um, use it as needed, but I'm not discouraging a bit of friendly banter on there as well. Okay, so just a little bit of a background it was reported 255 prisoners escaped um, from this raid although 182 were recaptured. Four airmen, including Picard, whose voice you will hear, actually, who was the last airplane over, um, is actually, so you'll hear his voice. He was sadly killed. Um, he took part in the Type Tonight film. The reason why he was not leading and was the last airplane was because what isn't modelled is there's another flight of mosquitoes, a big flight, and if we failed, they were going to absolutely flatten the prison. And he didn't want any of his men to have to make that call. So he was going to be the one who had to make the go, no go call on flattening the place. So beyond that, two other airmen were captured to POWs. 37 prisoners were killed trying to escape. 50 German guards were killed. And sadly, 260 people were either killed or, if you want to say, murdered as reprisal for this raid. So there was very real consequences to what happened. Okay, red one is departing. Okay, if you hit the sound bar, David, and I'll do it. Dave, I yell, set. And just 
be a way to wake out actually give a bit more of a stream between the flights just to make sure okay dive peg yellow rolling Lights extinguished. Give up. Oh, wankers. Give up, boss. Watch out. Are you happy with our um, switchology? What's up? Yeah, everything's good. Radiators are open. Soon as we switch fuel tanks. Down on red two's down. I lost his engine. Okay, if you want to quickly grab another one, you can. Dipeg yellow is got dipeg red in sight. RPM and boost are you going to be working on? I'm plus when? 8, turn 2650 at the minute. Okay. Yeah, when everyone's together, it'll be plus 8, 2400 for the cruise or whatever, it gives me 260 miles an hour. At the moment, maintaining 210 miles an hour. Okay. I'm just pulling the power back then to bring it back to 210. Back to you. Yeah, we're setting course uh, off this orbit. Okay. We are now on main tanks. Main tanks. So you chaps have been watching Masters of the Sky then? Masters of the Air? Absolutely. Yep. Found out some interesting facts about that sort of thing. You know, it would take two hours of circling over the waypoint to assemble the air wing. How do they have any fuel there? Yeah. There were 36 bombers in a group, three groups in a wing, and three wings in a division. So you get up to 800 aircraft in one go. It would take two hours to assemble them. Well, the Mosquito could take the same bomb load as a B-17. Mm. It depends on what range. It, um, if you were going just to France, they could take a heavier. Yes. It's, it's all dependent on fuel. But to Berlin, yes, you for that. Yeah. yeah, we're on main tanks, David. Did you want um, the first heading? 
Uh, first engine 166, I remember that one. Um, yeah. And yeah, main tax piece. Yeah, you're on mains. Uh, let me know when you start and I'll start the timers. Thank you. In a rest of three minutes, 25 seconds. Yeah, I was very fortunate when I was younger to fly in the blaster with the B-17 that actually took part in operations over Europe. Nice. Before the ground fell. Oh. Yeah. I remember sitting in one of the nose gunners positions looking at a Junkers 52. Airborne. So a bit surreal. I have a BC-348 for B-17. Wow. Ra radio receiver. Yeah, yeah. We call them boat anchors because they're that bloody heavy. <laughs> you just need to look at the mozzie ones. Oh yeah, I've worked on them. Why are they so heavy? They're just some friggin' radios. Old technology. <laughs> yeah, steel and aluminium cases. Valves inside. High voltages. Great for getting zapped. Do you want to let the fighter chaps know that we're on route to High Holden? I think I already have. Um, nobody's acknowledged yet. Okay. In the Air Force, our trade was allowed to walk around with hands in pockets. Is that two gears or valves? No, if you've got one hand in your pocket and you've got one hand in the equipment, you're not going to ground yourself. Ah. Pick if, you're, if you're leaning inside equipment and you've got your hand on the equipment and one hand inside, you, you can ground across your chest and kill you. So, one hand in pocket. Looks like we're telling Charlie. I just realised we haven't got a frigging compass turned on. Idiot. Uh, compass on. Good job of following these guys in front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you okay. should be on 166, heading 166. So we are. Excellent. Who's timing the run? Who's timing the leg? Um, lead. Uh, I, That'll be uh, David. And I have a stopwatch running as well. We're 1 minute 49 seconds right, in. Don't distract the fish. We have course played 10 degrees to the left. Just want it. Uh, just make sure you didn't set your magnetic uh, DI to the magnetic heading on this map. It doesn't work. It's going to be set to track. Duly noted. He's a bit of a bug. Me and David spent some practice missions going wildly off track and wondering what on earth was going on. Is that a bug? What is it? Yeah, they appear to have um, put the magnetic variation the wrong way on the channel map. Ah. Um. <laughs> just for our amusement. Oh, it was fun testing the Viggen on the South Atlantic map before all that was fixed. Yeah, South Atlantic map was uh, interesting. I'll take you back at 24.50, David. I'm now in plus 8, 24.50. Hopefully everyone's on board. 24.50 plus 8. Roger. Uh, Close enough. Uh, yep, yellow's on board. Uh, I now have desync on our gear. Our gear light keeps flashing at me. Velcro, our position. Good question. We are. Just right, flying up, just flying over high hill. Okay, turning right then. Yeah. The Spitfires are still on the ground. Yeah. Is high peak yellow three in formation? Turn to two three seven. Eight, yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, from one. Two three seven. Can you check my plane? I'm slower than everyone else. Make sure I've left my gear out. It's a bit stupid. When you can, that is. No. You haven't left uh, gear out. Yeah, I'm we're ready at the minute. Hold on, I'll come sure. just, I'm left. Behind I'm like, you. I'll come behind you. So it no. I was just yeah, if you come, cut the corner, we'll and I'll fall in behind you. All right. Doing it now. We do. We do have external bombs. Oh, the tail wheel's still out. By the looks of it. Why does that happen? I don't know. Oh, we found the tail wheel. Maybe it's a rough off. takeoff. Spitfires at five o'clock. Roger. Let me see if I can. Uh... 
Yeah, we found that they've, um, when the gear mod came in, or the gear update, shall we say, they've made it very brittle, especially the oh, tail wheel. Oh, bumped it. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll just have to use more fuel to keep up with them, simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, just do what well, you've got to do. We've probably got full tanks unless the mission maker decided to reduce the fuel load. I didn't and reduce the fuel load, I left it all. Ah, so we, yeah, we have about five fuel. hours worth of Yeah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright, right. Yeah. <laughs> just don't lose an engine. Mm -hmm. I wanted to you make get, sure. With external tanks you get six and a half hours of flight time, so. Oh yeah. Okay, you can do it so three times, four times. I haven't tested that. I, I did say that I was going to do that in testing when this came out. That I was going to fly it for the six and a half hours to see if the fuel consumption was correct. But That's hard for I never did. did. Yeah. I did it without uh, the external bag, so it worked like three hours, three and a half hours. Uh, obviously, time left. Oh, wow. I flew four in the pit cool. and had a game crash. Yeah. You can go there like four times, no no issue at all. Yeah, I'm visual on two pairs of Spitfires, one close, one uh, trailing. What heading's one? Uh, six o'clock. Where have you gone, Skill? You're on my right now. I'm on your left, I'm on your left. Don't come too far left. Oh, there you are. I was going to say, you mean typhoons? Yes. Small typhoons. Hmm. Prototype typhoons. Mm -hmm. Typhoons over to Typhoons. Yeah, the only thing I can see you're playing is the tailwheel cut. Can't see anything else. Oh, Flaps up. We'll survive. We could always drop two bombs. <laughs> I've got no, visual no. on six mozzies. All gear is up. Means we're missing two mozzies, I guess. Yeah, what about Ken and Rick? You about to join us, Ken and Red Boot? Yeah, he is back at base. It's whenever the buzzer goes off, the landing lights come on, so it's not decent. If you boost this following, following, um, just following below seven, I think then it's coming on. Caution left. Yeah. Oh no. Mozzie nine o'clock convergence. Hey, Typhoon's arrived. Hello, boys. All right. That's a nice line. Then on, I come. Oh, I've got, I've got such an urge to sing six three three squadron. <coughs> now that was a good mission. Oh, let's push leg away on. I've lost. All. We're on leg two, leg two, and we're three, well, four minutes in now. Four minutes in, yeah. Halfway there. Good job. Should be in a course of 237-ish. Move it up. We haven't even got to the very low level bit yet. Huh. No. That's what a map's for. Oh, yeah. The channel crossing bit is terrifying. Yeah. That's where, that, that's where we go low level. Once we hit the coast, ultra low level. I think my trim is still weird then. Mm -hmm. It goes Mosquito, Buccaneer, Vigan, and then everything else above those. <laughs> Have you seen the video of the Buccaneer retracting the gear one to get airborne? Mm -hmm. Don't bother no. climbing, just pull the gear up. Yeah, I heard a funny story about that. So the Buccaneer boys, when they took the Buccaneer away, they had a weight on wheel switch on the Buccaneer. Mm -hmm. And because they took that away and then replaced it for the Tornado, I think that was its replacement in the end. The Tornado didn't. So when the Buccaneer pilots would start to take off and lift the thing, the landing gear would go up straight away. <laughs> and they lost a load of them through damage. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite funny when I was reading about that. Yeah, if you go on YouTube, there's a video, um, I think it's Buccaneers attacking HMS Liverpool, I think it is. Oh, yeah. 
and you, yeah, literally there's a great sequence of them taking off, literally the gear just coming up, the airplane's not climbing, the gear just comes up and they're airborne. So Jaguar pilots, you want to talk to about curvature of the Earth departures? Huh. Yeah, but that's because they had no power to get airborne. Awkward. Matrix. Matrix. Matrix? Why that? No Why your cause? Out. Is he on the wrong channel? Yeah. Son of a bitch, Matrix. Uh, yeah, he'll be in a different channel. Chances are, Channel I saw board. Matrix uh, practicing out on the washes when I was a kid. Aha, uh -huh, isn't that funny? Yeah, bombing that target that we've bombed in the... yeah. That's the one. Alright, Jen, so I have to depart. Good luck. Thanks for having Cheers, baby. Ta-da. Actually, I saw that yak um, yesterday, it's over at sleep. It's set out with the engine cowlings off. Oh. What's the matter with it? Oh, I don't know. I was there uh, looking at a chipmunk, so he just happened to be sat there. They're fun to fly in. Oh, chipmunks, yeah, fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Four man spit bar. Many a barrel of roll and loop in the Spitfire. Yeah. Say again, Velcro? We're about a minute ahead of schedule. Roger. So in a minute, we'll be in the middle here. We'll let you know. Turn to 208 on the right. Yeah, we're, we're a couple of seconds up. At least. Yeah, we're about a minute ahead of Sadly, I couldn't make the weather any more crap than this. Mm -hmm. I think it's good enough. Yes, for sure. So we're out here looking at the rivers. Yeah, 208 now. Turning 208. Alright, this is leg three down to the coast. Is that right? Yeah. Alright. Here we are, bit ahead schedule. What do we do for ahead? Are we going to slow down? No, we're good to pull no, the good. track. They're just rough estimations. I think there might be some wind pushing us from behind. As long as we make the turns, the, the time doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. The thing is, if we know we're ahead here, we know then to calculate that we're going to be ahead potentially for the next. Next heading, please, Velcro. Uh, next heading will be 137. 137, Roger. Right. Going low level, yeah? Yeah, oh, I suppose. believe we're... Still, yeah, and we're slightly left of track, by the looks of it. How do you know? There's a inlet to our right. Roger. I've flown oh, this enough this times with David. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, all of a sudden, I don't like it anymore. Oh. This is the worst for the actual <laughs> altitude stuff. No, Gentlemen, try right. not to go below me. Try and stay above me. Lights on or off? <clears throat> We're going lights off shortly. This must be before radar altimeters are invented. Yeah, you never get it. just sticks his foot out the window and goes, yeah, that's, that's low enough. <laughs> yeah, when you stop it's, screaming. It's wet now, Skipper. Just open your uh, escape door and look, see when the water comes in. Just think how many World War II planes crashed in weather like this. Yeah. Well, so they lost a few on this raid because of that. It's a We're bit of a um, bit of turbulence here. It is. It's so yeah. turbulent. Yeah. I'm going to stick us slightly further right. Yeah. The uh, lead back, so we're not right in it. Actually, yeah. Did you saw this bit fire crash into each other Can on the right hand side. So uh, Spitz just crashed. Yep, into it. Oh well. shit. Yeah. They'll never catch up. No yeah. way. Oh, we just one lost. is still going, but the other one is down. We just lost the spits. They can cut a corner and uh, try and catch if they like, there's plenty of time. Or they can jump in as nabs and enjoy the trip. Okay, so we're sitting slightly right of um, red section just to keep out of the way. Dave, how are you uh, doing your altitude? How are you doing your altitude? Have you zeroed 
did you add timber to sea level? Uh, no, I set my altimeter when I was on the ground cap, so I had um, Q and H set already. So how are... Right. It's getting better if you get low, so like 50 feet you will see the water. Yeah, just, just, look at your, just look at the reflections of the planes in the front, you'll see how high you are. The worst one is for the lead. <laughs> Somebody said they were uh, slower than everyone else earlier. That's me, I got damage on my plane. Uh, I think somebody's got their lights out. Oh, their out. landing lights are out. Yeah. Because their oh, yeah. landing lights are on. Quite extendable, aren't they? That was me, I just want to test that us? Could that be us, oh, okay. No, it's not us. Double checking. Velcro lights off please. Good way you're doing. slowing yellow down a little bit, we're just catching up on red a bit too quick. Yep. We have right, no lights at all on. Lead is down five zero feet, fifty feet. Uh, this is for anti-radar <laughs> I'm guessing. Ava. The sun from ahead is the issue. Yeah, sun yeah, doesn't help. Just, just just stay off his right wing, you'll be all right. Yeah. It's fine, we'll be at a snowstorm soon, there'll be no sun. Just don't go any low, lower than the guy you're following. That's it. Yeah, I'll have to set on the video because of the weight. Terrible. Yeah. yeah, if you just sit out to one side, you should be okay. Yeah, sit out, just go from from right far, skill. The weather's clearing. That's excellent. Yeah, nice. How did... How did you manage that? Right, it does through a little bit. I miss having dynamic weather. Where you could set your own weather pans. Velcro, can I have to have lights off, please? Yeah, if you need to switch out a bit, you you know, be independent a little bit. Just don't crash into anyone. You know your flight needs. No way, I'm yeah, sick of right you, like, no. you like friggin' glue. No, it's okay. The snow's coming back. Do, do what you please, but once we get to the coast, we'll be turning around and flying very low level. So you want to be slightly independent, just keep an eye on me. As long as you're not too far that you lose visual, you're okay. I'm out on your right rear cap. Roger. Just out of the How's our T's and P's on, T? I can't look anymore. Uh, excellent at the moment. We still have 14 minutes to run on this leg. I'm going to use Velcro to keep an eye on the flight behind me, I can't look back. Yeah, no worries. There you go. We're okay, we're just sitting just behind and right of you. Scary enough looking forwards. <laughs> I was going to say, some of you guys are a bit quiet. Get that toe in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Get your dipstick out. So I'm really filling my tea flask. What's your speed, David? Um, 26 feet stop. Uh, just dropped a tiny bit of I ballooned a bit. It's about 255. Okay. Just around porpoising slightly. Yep. Just slowing goes down a slight bit. Bang on track at the moment. About a quarter of the way over the channel. So this season, I might be lucky enough to start taxiing the mosquito. Ah, right, about that. Whereabouts? I sense another video there, Cap. Yeah, well, I sense a, a video opportunity. Whereabouts is this? That's uh, uh, East Kirkby, uh, where the Lancasters is based. Oh, yeah. Got an NF2 mosquito that taxes around there. Got that. Is that a? Uh, is it original or is it? Do you know what I mean? Is it? Yeah, it's it's a, it's a real one. Uh, we've built several uh, parts of real ones, but it's a Night Fighter two. Nice. Is 
in paint you black? No, it's this um, green grey cabin. Oh. And later in the year, me and David are hoping to actually doing this for real. Ooh. In? In the chipmunks. Wow. Yeah, a pair of chipmunks to Ami on for a weekend away. What, 50 feet? Huh. Maybe. <laughs> I dare you. Double dare you. That's raising money for the uh, people's mosquitoes, so uh, they're doing it for them. Oh, nice. Take some water balloons. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to bomb prisons anymore. <laughs> yeah. Ah. You can walk oh, below, yeah? I, I don't think I got in the, I didn't get that in the memo, David. Did they say we couldn't? They haven't said we can't. That's true. The one That's thing we have learned... Permission. Yeah, the one thing we have learnt at the minute is that um, Amion Airfield, where we're going to land for fuel, only speaks French on the road, yeah. Um, and I did German at school. Awkward. Oui, oui, so bonjour. I'm sure, that, I'm sure they learned German at uh, about 80 years ago, I think. <laughs> <laughs> is, it not, is it not a requirement that 80... Is it not a requirement that 80s you have to speak English? Yeah, but the French don't... don't um, They're very stubborn. Really play ball. They joué au abgas. Uh, see. <laughs> uh, bonnet de douche, bonnet de douche. Bon Speaking of pretend, bon haven't lost every word I've been in. Uh, so it should be for a very good course, clearly, the people's mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So the sooner the better they get theirs in the sky, it's going to be good. Planning a patriotic trip to Paris as well, we'll take the two national flags, the Union flag and the white flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti, can you hear me? Is yep. he in this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You turn to 180 now, you should intercept us. 180, Roger. I'm just slowing us down, easing us a bit further right, just picking up the weight of um, red 2. Just this out a bit. You're losing my bearings. <laughs> Horrible. You see, I, I can see the spray coat off you there, Cap. Right, I got really low there. It's amazing how it suddenly goes all very quiet, isn't it? Mm. Quite, quite concentrated. Con concentration level goes it's up. Very rare I stop talking. Stop. But... It is constipation. Just imagine if you could model it, the uh, salt accretion on the windscreen as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rub. mate. Also, yeah, it's you imagine trying this for real? We should be halfway by now. Yeah, we're at 9 minutes 25 seconds in, we're about halfway across. Turn track looking good. No, Mr. Pickles, I don't think coffee at this time would be appropriate. Why not? Rum. A bit of, const a bit, a bit of concentrating there, Cap. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you could be holding a cup of coffee. No, maybe not. Oh, a straw. That would be a very handy solution, Mr. Pickles. He's got a straw. She's got a straw, sorry. Well, I'm in a very frustrating position because I've got my rum in front of me, but I'm in VR, so I can't get it. Embarrassing for you. Don't worry, only... 500 miles to go, whatever Amien is. And we pretend it's a Butlin's holiday camp. <laughs> I would like that. Either way, it would need bombing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Staraglov 7, that was uh, Bob Norwegian, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that one was Skegness. You might be right. Look, there's blue sky. Hey, beautiful. Look at that, guys. If I end up with ELO, <laughs> if I ever end up in a uh, Butlins, can someone come and send a mosquito to bust me out? <laughs> dun, 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 
sun is shining in the sky. You know the F-15C Eagles uh, played that to RAF Leeming's air traffic control when they left. Hmm. Yeah, I, I heard them. They were, they were practicing dog fights over in North Yorkshire, over my house, oh. and um, they got onto the the tower frequency for RAF Leeming, who controls them while they're here. And they said, "This is our last sortie up here, so we've got a little present for you." And they went, "Hey!" And they started playing uh, ELO's "Mr. Blue Sky." When was that? Across the radio. Uh, just before the, they were their last sortie, just before they left England oh. for heading home and disbanding. Was that my yeah, long? Yeah. Yeti yeah. yeah. oh, oh, How about that? Turn turn one five zero Yeti now. I remember in the early days playing. Um, um, 617, you know, Danvers' uh, march as I was flying over to Derwent and we couldn't hear it. And then about, I don't know, 10 minutes later we are talking to air traffic and you could suddenly hear it in the background it was somehow affecting coming over the radio. Yeah, Yeti, you're, bang, you're right behind us. I think I think they said, where are you? I think we have a clue where you are. I don't know who that was. It was Doncaster or something. That's before we put the new radio fit in the aircraft. Well, I used to record um, the, the sort of chatter. And when I thought I had enough, I stopped recording it. And that was a couple of days before they, they played Mr. Blue Sky. And I thought, I wish I'd still been recording it, because that would have been one for the, for the record books. That would have been well, at least good prosperity. Yeah, at least you heard it, though. Oh, I mean, it put a great smile on your face, you know, hearing that coming from F-15s flying overhead, because normally, you know, their their radio um, chatter is, is very on, on the ball, on the business. Yeah. Um, and then for them to, to suddenly play that over the airwaves, which they shouldn't be doing, but it, it was uh, incredibly fun. So I was in stores one one very miserable winter day and a pilot come in and he says, can I have a new pair of sunglasses, please? Here's my old ones, you know, the swap stuff out in the RAF stores. And I went, you want sunglasses on a day like this? And he says, at 6,000 feet, there's not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> oh, no, I never thought of that one. <laughs> Sorry, guys, massive loading screens, I had to pull there. Just Sorry, if I'm the two below you, David. Just come back down. Yeah, easy back in, yeah. What's happened there? I had a massive loading screen, so I thought I'd better pull. Ah. I guess I'm a few jigsaw. I found white out conditions and then the ocean on rapid succession. Yep, broken. Three minutes to the coast. Three minutes to the coast. Yeti, you need to come left to come ones what are you heading 150 uh, uh one, one, two, zero at the minute hmm? 120 at the minute yeah you need to be on 140 four, zero, rog yep. you start to push back into the lead how far behind am i red one now single engine what what have you done Dave? Oh. No idea, just stopped. Oh god, oh. the lead's lost a friggin' engine. Can you carry on? Um, um, you haven't engine. not forgetting to switch your fuel tanks, have you? No, no they're no. on the mains. Okay. What the hell? And you have pressurised your tanks. No. Oh, it's still going to hell. Okay. Do you want me to take the lead, David? I think you're better. I think I'll peel off and uh, maybe nap okay. for someone. Okay. Do you want me to nav for you, um, John? Um, yes, if that's okay, if you um, jump across into my aircraft, I'll use up to the lead. Oh, bloody hell. It's another mozzie gone. It's, mozzie. it's, our, it's our first mozzie gone, isn't it? Yeah. One mozzie gone, it. one spit gone. Weather casualty. Enemy coast ahead. Of course, that means that you're the lead of our element, no cup. So um, you could um, I'll, I'll um, try and grab another one and catch up. 
Actually, do you want to switch out and put David in with Cap because he knows the um, jink um, course to no, get don't, the Don't worry, I'll, I'll grab another one, I'll catch you. You sure? Okay. If you can get to us by target, that would be most helpful. Okay, what's our course belt, Um, uh, You need to come right a little bit. Uh, probably about three, four degrees. Right, three, four. Not too bad. Okay, I just want to get past this mozzie ahead of me before I do anything. I'm just going to open up and get by. Find gears up into the lead. Somebody's hit the water. Is that the course lane ahead? Um, coastline's up oh, ahead. Okay. Diapeg yellow one is renumbering to a diapeg red one. I have to leave. Left. Another five degrees. Left five. Bring that power back. Out there. More. I've got to say, I'm trying to get my mind now back into navigation again. <laughs> yeah. Come with another five degrees. A five. That should bring us to the core of the... Yeah, Kuril. Um, uh, is it? Coming in at Kuril. Oh, Kuril. Oh, uh, sorry. Right. Should that be a left hand uh, turn? Uh, yeah. Land ahoy. Right, right at five degrees. Right five. Yeah. 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 We come in just to the right of the actual filter. No. Everything's gone to pot since I've changed. Okay. Uh, that's me dead. I'm gonna have to go guys, I'm up at three anyway. Okay, okay, close to head. Oh, we're losing men. We're losing good, good men. Yeah, we must have put mechanical failures in this, which I think is a lot of random failures. Do you recognise any of that, John? Um, close to head, we'll be on time. Yeah, I think we should be slightly right of where we are. I think that dips drill. Right, okay. I'm bringing us all right, I believe. And then we're heading from there will be. So if you need to use F10, just kind of get it roughly to where we need to be. So yeah, one one seven. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to delay us slightly so we kind of pick up the track where we should yeah. have been. I reckon we should come in slightly right. Here. We're almost back on track. Almost. Just keep going for it. Twenty seconds, seconds and then turn it. Yeah, and then we'll stumble across it. Okay, so our next one will be 117. I don't know if I've toppled my DI, so we'll just have to keep an eye. It's right in the left turn now. Yep. 117. Auntie, Auntie we're in hostile territory. Can I have my guns on, please? Good night. Get me rid of my neighbor. Green switch. Yeah. Yep. Guns are armed. Guns are okay. armed. Velcro, Velcro Yeti, when you give not you a moment, can you check? Yeah. Yep, I'm just trying to... Yeah, when you got a moment. Yeti, you need to turn... to intercept course is 150. 150. <laughs> okay, we are 117 now. How far so, behind am I behind the uh, group? Uh, you haven't broken coast yet, so you are about 12 nautical miles. Okay, I away. think, I think I see the group. Uh, you keep turning right. You're heading 120 still. I'm heading 120, right, okay. Yep, according to my, what I'm looking at, you are. I was planning to follow my flight lead in my bomb oh, run. Okay, my right. flight lead's gone now, so... Auntie, do you know where we've got a bomb? It's the North Face, isn't it? So, I believe so, yes. I'll, I'll call the um, point-out cap where you break off at 45. Yeah. 
So I'll try to kind of guide you in from the lead if I can. If David don't get here in time, and that's also if we find it <laughs> this way. I'm hoping not from this turn point, but the next, the one after this, we'll get a solid fix on that river, and right. then we can direct from there. We got the there's what the river from the transport or whatever it is. Um, no, we'll the get one. the next one. So once we've done this turn point. When we yeah. hit the other river, we've got all those lakes. So once we get there, we should hopefully get a good solid fix on those lakes. Is that the big bunch of lakes? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, so we'll fly. So once we get there, we can get a good solid fix. So we'll fly this to that tree line on the ridge and do our best from there. Need to be checked. Halfway through. One and a half minutes. We should hit the river. Okay. Yeah, we should. We've got all that um, clutter in the valley, shouldn't we? And then we'll hit the ridge line and then we'll turn left a bit to zero seven four. Seven four. Yeah. Okay, looks like we're just about to hit the valley now. Wait in a, in a second. Yeah, I think I recognise this hill here, which is going over, I think. What heading am I on at the minute? You are on 150. Right, that's 150, roger. Approximately 30 seconds to the turn. If, um, I think it's that ridge line we've got now, 12, is where we're aiming for the turn at. If you turn to 110 Yeti, yeah. you should intercept us. 110. Yeah, this is looking good. Once we get to that ridge, then we'll make the turn. What to um, zero seven four? Zero seven four. Yep. Did it have a, a road and a river underneath us about now? Yep. That looks right. Roger, I see the river. Ask me back on your right wing, cut. Roger, hey. welcome back. Starting our turn zero seven four. I'm sure. Resetting the stopwatch. Same. Four minutes on this leg, yeah, Auntie. Four minutes, yes. Yep. All right, and we've got a visual reference of the river as well. Yeah, we have those uh, load of lakes that we can pick that up quite nicely. I All think right. we're looking good. Well done, everyone. Yeah, I think um, John, we we're going to be just to the right of the big group of lakes. Yep. In between yeah. Amberville and Amiens. That's looking good then. Spot on. Yeti, yeah, so you're heading straight for the lakes, so you should meet us there. Roger, what's I'll your, keep that for lakes. What's your speed, Yeti? Yeah? Uh, I am at 280 at the minute. Lovely, that's fine. Come a little bit right, if I was you. You're about 5 degrees right. 5 degrees right, Roger. Auntie, can you uh, set the bombs up but um, remove the fusing? Yeah, so, it's so just not the two bomb switches basically. Yep. Oh, come on, that's good to sleep. Ah, visual, I have visual. Yes, he's got visual with the. I'm joining you. There you are. I have achieved something. I think you have. <laughs> Auntie, time, so left this, time left on this leg, please. Uh, two minutes. All right. So we're not uh, we're not using the, the bottom two switches. So we're going That's for correct. A delayed, a delayed fuse. Well, there shouldn't be any fusing. Basically, we're dropping into a um, hit box, basically. Oh. Um, you blow yourself up. Yeah. Because they say the dynamics of the bombs won't work correctly as they did it. So they don't skip, they just sit dead, don't they, since they hit the ground. Yes. So you want us to drop the bombs in front of the tents, don't you? 
Um, yeah, what? so you basically, yeah, just picture them just in front of the wall. That, that's where you're aiming. I'd just go for it. And we haven't even reached the um, challenging bits yet. I think the next turn point after this one is the hardest one to spot. Oh, we can do it on time. Mm -hmm. Time remaining on this leg? Uh, one minute. Uh, one minute. I reckon just as soon as we get over this ridge, we may start getting an idea where we are. Yeah, next turn is on the on the river itself. We're, um, we're quite far right of the lake, so you might want to come left a little bit. Uh, negative, negative. Um, double check, please. It's the other way around. Okay. So we just hold for a second and correct on once we hit the river? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be um, an intersection of two rivers looking at the kneeboard. Uh, okay. Yeah, you've got all the um, lakes, don't you, and the intersection. You should have lake, lakes to the port side and we should have a, a river intersection right below yeah. us when we hit it. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. We'll hold roughly where we are then to see what comes. Your four minutes is ten seconds away. Okay. Yeah, I think the other intersection the is on our left. Where's the on river? On our port from? side. Okay. So we're, we're slightly right. We're slightly four right. Up. Yeah. We're slightly right of uh, where we should be. Okay, we'll just turn slightly early. What's the next heading? Zero five two. Yeah. Zero five two. Roger. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just sit a little bit slightly less, so we'll hopefully converge. Yeah, that would make it zero five zero. Hey, firm. As we're slightly to yeah, the starboard right. side of the river, yeah. Yes, sir, after you have right. I wasn't wrong. You were wrong, Jacob. I read the Ladybird yes, book of map reading. <laughs> you number one it's, now. It's, it's true that my dad bought it for me mum. My mum couldn't understand a word of it and uh, she kept getting us lost when we went out for a Sunday drive in the car so my dad gave it to me huh. and I went ooh this is cool. And then you got sat nav. <laughs> yeah, now you got sat nav. Redundant. Yeah. What's a map? Completely redundant. Is that the green book? I've read a green book once. Huh. Yeah, it had uh, two kids on the front with a, a compass and a map in their hand. It's just a Ladybird book of map reading from 1960-something. I want to see how, we look, how long we'll be on this leg. One, one minute. Uh, we've still got one minute. Uh, two minutes. Two minutes exactly. And what are we looking for? A road intercept? It's a road with a railway line crossing just ahead of Doolong's. Yeah. Roger. <laughs> So this is how they would do it in real life. They would put their waypoints over visual references. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be quite hard, right? When we hit that. Yeah. You always um, navigate. Okay, so I'll space out a bit. Yeah. So you actually John, it's yours. Bye, John. This is looking good. That looks like that um, yeah. ridge line of the trees, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it so is. That, yes. That's looking promising. That it ridge track. There should be, there should be a, a, a river down there on the left as well. As yeah, as well as the railway. Yeah, there's railway. Yeah. Right. Yep. So that's looking good mid track. Yep, I think we're spot on here. One minute to go. And a few seconds. Yeah, we're slightly slower than speed as well. We're 250 opposed to 260. We were slow over the channel. Before. Okay. Bring this slightly right. Just 
Ramsey while we've got a second. Can you check the switchology and give you the green light that we're ready to form apart from the bomb bay doors? We are. Yes, indeed we are. 30 seconds to turn point. Yep. So that should be a major road and a railway intersection. Yeah. Is the road. Yeah. Railway. Well done, guys. Yep. We're here. There's uh, the little village of Do Do. I can't see what it says. Do Selling. Let me F10 it. Who needs GPS? One, two, four, John. One, two, four. Roger. Turning right, one, two, four. Yeah. Do Lens. Yes. Little tens. Actually, I think I was going to make that a target once because it has uh, some really nifty looking buildings in there. Like a power station or something. I shouldn't be saying at this point my frame rates are not so great either. <laughs> no, don't say it. Oh dear. Uh, that means so bad waddies. I've got two engines, so that's... Yeah, that's winning. So we, All right, no we should break. be on 174. Right. No, we should be on 124, aren't we? 124. 124. Sorry, 124. Three minutes, okay. I hope you started to watch. I've got it before yes. seconds in. Okay, cool. What's the, do we have a visual reference for the next steer point? Um, negative, it's uh, pretty wishy-washy out there. Mm. All we want to know is we don't hit Albert, the um, BMW factory, and we'll run into their flat guns. Mm. Yeah. We Which will be poor. Quite handily, there is a Roman road that comes out of Amiens, which is what we're going to follow to Berlin. Right. If you see all the kind of famous paintings of the road, you'll see that tree line road and whizzing down it at a low level. Yeah. Okay, so just remember your flight compositions. Cross cap, you're taking uh, my place as yellow one. Just make sure you get over the target within 11 seconds of each flight lead. And again, don't arm your bombs. So the four top switches down, including the gang bar. And again, for cap, once we get halfway down the road, I'll point out to where you kind of branch right to avoid yep. the angle. Yep. And then once you've kind of followed that heading, you'll see the prison on your left, and then judge your turn in for the wall, basically. I always find you have to go slightly further than you think. Roger. Noted. I do my best to guide you as you need. Um, time remaining on leg. One minute. Cannon red one, cannon red two is now on your left hand side. Roger. Yep. Well done, Velcro. Right, so skill, you're no, following me when I branch right. Yep, Roger. Yeah, so there should be two yellow in yellow flight now, three in red, um, dive peg red. And then what? how many are left in um, dive peg, oh, sorry, cannon red? Is there anyone left there? Thanks. And of course you're doing the orbit. Okay, I yep. think we start our turn now at the crossroad. Looks familiar. Is that tough look time wise? Good. Uh, you're 10 seconds early, but go for it. Yeah. Okay, starting the turn. 174. 174. For 45, so let's keep it sharp, guys. Okay, so we're starting to run into the target. So I'll bear off to our left, keep an eye out for black and fighters. We're just on the Roman road now, right? That's correct. Yeah. It could be a quite a tight turn on, so just watch it and make sure you um, be well spaced. Keep it tight. Onto your reflector side, oh. please. Roger. Uh, let me get rid of my keyboard. We're 45 seconds in, mate. Okay. Triple A, triple A, triple A, left. Okay. Watch out, keep it low. Any visual on the back to trailer you cut? Roger, any visual on the road? Uh, I can't see it yet. Negative. Right. I'm it's coming up right ahead, turn. Turn right, turn right, turn right. Is 247 it? now. Yeah, here it is. Looning up. I think I've maybe taken a hit. 
You're good, you're good. Or both you. Okay. Unzip on my doors. This is this is it. Yeah, open by doors open, John. Yeah, Bombay doors are uh, open. John, you're losing left engine. Bombay doors opening. My Roger. engines are looking good. Tell me when to split. Okay, we'll do. We've got a little bit of a run yet. Bay doors are open. Roger. Sorry, about that. I keep forgetting you're alongside me <laughs> to do that stuff. That's all right. In flight two. Uh, oh, Bombay That's doors are open. Okay. Bombs are selected and not armed. Bomb bay doors are open. We're ready to bomb. Can a flood is slowing down. Okay. Okay, keep closely tight turn to your lead aircraft. Do you want me to tell them when to split? Um, yes, that's okay. Yeah, you can concentrate on what you've got to do. Yeah, confirm. I think my left engine is not behaving particularly well. Yeah, it, it has was, been hit. It was leaking water. Oh, is it? Okay. I'll see if I can get us over the target anyhow with a dodgy engine. Be prepared, um, Valkyrie, to have to feather the number one. Just hold off on it. I'm just watching the map at the moment just to see hey, where this guy is. Yeah, my number one is rolling back. Come on. Come on. I've gone wide on, I've gone wide on one to try to hold it as long as I can. Okay, this is looking good. Yeah, you guys are splitting, you're coming up on the split in about 10 seconds. Just broke up to the right. Oh yeah. You should see the road split any minute now. Yeah. Visual. Okay, that's stupid. Split now. No cups. Split now. Am I going now? Now, oh, cap. I split, pick yellow. Yeah. All the short right. Feather the one, Valtro. Feather one. Feather one. Feather and secure one. Cannon two or two. Okay. Yep, left hand. Thank you, you behind me or in front of me, skill? I'm behind you, theory. Alright, let me know when you see that friggin' prison. Give me full right turn. Um, I'm going to climb on behind the trees. Yep. Okay. Monty, where's the prison? Yeah. Find it. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Keep, keep, keep on this course. We're going to be slightly slow as we're single engine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do guys. Do you want Visual on the prison cap, time. 11 o'clock. Yeah, I think that's is the closest. Yeah. Superimposed we need to, to front of the uh, church. We've got to get the angle, Monty. Yeah, we're going a while. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get the angle right. Okay, try to keep it all tight. Visual on the prison, then ahead. Okay. And don't forget you're aiming just before the walls. Bombay yeah. doors are open, bombs are hard to see. Turn in now, Cap. IP, yellow, IP. Turning. Gonna fly, Philip. And red is just out. One mile. Cannon 2 continuing. I'm coming in on your right cut. Yep, just have to bombs. Right here, bombs, bombs, bombs. Yep, bombs are out. Let's go. Bombs, bomb. Where are we going, of course, Auntie? Yellow 3, bombs away. Uh, bombs out. Red. 292. 292. Come on, John. Yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> She's not liking it. We're going to be lame ducks. Bay closed. Right, bomb bay doors up. Okay, thank you. You win this kill. Yeah, I'm still with you. Right. Zero. Zero. Find a spare. Um, right turning. Yeah, turning right, following the river out. Fuel shaft. Auntie, that's still 2 9. Doesn't matter, I've got quite a run. Okay, that's the river. You can see the bridge. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be pretty much straggling this. Auntie, we'll, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll just set a course back. Auntie, what's we'll up here, Yeah, let's see what what's they what? do. We'll, we'll try to hold. Where well, do we turn? And then two running out. Uh, we've still got about 30 seconds to turn. Okay, okay guys, you're on your own because we're lame Just follow now. the river. If you want to take the headings home, you okay. do your own nav. We'll have to try to make it back ourselves on one. Roger. Up. 
So we're a minute. How far are we into our minute and ten? So we're about to take uh, 57 now. Yep. John, if you want to get home, uh, three, turn, uh, two, we'll, six, seven, we'll, we'll now. We'll fly it. Okay. Two, six, What's seven, the worst yeah. that can happen, yep. boys? I'm going to red. Push it a bit. I don't want to put the corners if we set off any triggers or anything like that. It'll two, be six, a seven. bit. Yeah. For the other yeah, so two, six, seven. We'll just try to fly on the single. Oh, bombs away. Two, six, now. seven, four. For five minutes, five minutes. 15. This will take us just a railway, I think. Yeah. FW190 yeah. is inbound. Straight back the way we came, basically. That we're going to have to be prepared for left and turn. Yeti, we need to turn right. Left and turn. Right. Left, left. Left. Get that left. No. Left. Left. left is good, left. Turn left. Left. And Two. okay, this should be taking us to that tree line. Uh, yeah. Where we run into. Okay. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Got a bit waylaid. Uh, turn left to 250. Left, 250, yes. What's your progress, David? Uh, just crossing Abbeville, so I'll be intercepting on the way out. Okay. I'm single engine, so if you want to match up with the guys in the lead... Yeah, we'll do, yeah. ...and nab them. Like it's 3.30 miles an hour. Okay. Do we have I'm... enemy fighters in the rest? <clears throat> I did see some. Auntie, time time into leg. We are yeah, currently 145 mm. into a 435 leg. And red 2, I'm coming off power a bit. Give you some more. That's how fuel looking about, right? Good point. Okay. Visual okay. uh, aircraft in front of us. Who is it? Uh, it's our guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to switch to ours. Okay. Well, okay. PSI to catch them up. Might as well burn the way down. Let's yeah, so look. 241. We will be turning 293 as soon as we hit the road and river. Again, I'm at 2 and Kelly on. Sorry? There are, there are How are we doing? Uh, 1 o'clock. We see the guys in the distance. 1 o'clock. Uh, 11. Okay. I'm not quite visual. I think it's friendly, heading same direction. We're on course to here. A little bit behind, I think. So, maybe only with one engine. We could be the two POWs. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeti, turn to two five zero. And then one two five zero. Five zero. Yeah. Do you get that cannon one? Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, we need to turn to two five zero. Two five zero. Two, two four zero. Four zero. Yeah, two four zero. Yeah, as soon as we've cleared over the top of this ridge, we will be turning right. Two, 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 nine, nine. I'm pretty just attached myself there to should these be, boys, to be honest. Yeah, there should be a, a road and a river on the way. Jigsaw, is that you turning right? I'm turning left a bit, so I'm in trail on the worst. I'm out by, I guess, four, six miles in between. Yeah, I think I've We're got two up ahead. Cross over the road. Yeah, that's at what, yeah. Uh, one o'clock, yeah. Yeah. We're just that's crossing road and river now, Cap. Cannon one, contact two, uh, dead ahead. Yeah, here we go. 
Turn right to 293. 293, roger, roger. Yeah, several contacts. One o'clock, eleven o'clock, I don't know. Yeah, roger. And we are four minutes thirty-five from the coast. Roger. What do you want to do, John? Do you want to turn Back off? Or do you want to turn off? Um, and it's, I think we and just it's home for tea and medals. How far is it left on this leg, um, about three fours? Um, How far down are we? We're, we're quite behind. We've got okay. about a couple of minutes. Don't forget, okay. we have to collect a telegraph wire and a branch of a tree in our tailwheel. Because that is what happened. Can do. Yeah. My great uncle did that on one of his mosquito raids at Lumber Telegraph Wire. Hmm. <laughs> we're back in the valley. Yeah. Maybe gave it back. In a retour. Yeah, that was, that was cutting the Germans' communication lines. Why would he want to give it back? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the second pair up the front? I'm just joining them. I think that's us, me and Skill. But yeah, that should be yellow. We're pretty much faster, so we're fast. Yeah, it's high big yellow. Dang, faster? There's a trio in front of us, but we can't keep up with them. Um, Belfort, how far are we off our turn point? Um, mm -hmm. Is it into the valley that goes back up to Yeah, the valley. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, uh, we are... How are we doing? Yeah, we're going to be doing... Turn, blah, 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 10 miles, nautical miles. We're going to want to head in. Let's adjust this. 290. Okay, coming right, 290. In a red two, you're still with me? Yeah, on your right. Just slightly to the left, but on course, so we continue. Roger, I'll stick with you. Do you want to get some? No. Hi. <laughs> yeah, enemy around, so I don't want to really climb over at Grant. We know we're about now. The black batteries will have us. Two minutes. Yeah, John, I will come back and help you, but I don't want to. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> I wouldn't come back and help you either, so... I might well get rid of this knee board now, but that's pretty much useless for us, isn't it? Is this looking about right? I think this is where we're supposed to be. Is this our turn point, um, Bob? Uh, to... What do you... Do we head, follow the lakes up and out? Um, no, we'll follow... The, the, the way we came in. Krill, we'll come out. Go, go come out, Krill. Krill, yeah, OK, keep going. We're we'll not keep there. Keep going, yet. OK. Yeah, we're a little bit further south than we should be. Okay, Roger. About two nine and zero again. Oh. Yeah, hold that course, and we'll pick the valley up. Okay. This thing is really not liking this. The first group of mosquitoes. You're heading to Normandy, pretty much. Next turn. 330. Uh, progress, Auntie. Leg. Um, 30 seconds to the coast. Roger, 30 seconds. We can fly and let's speed up a bit, maybe we can catch them. Roger, I, I saw some uh, contacts about 11 o'clock here in that crowd now, but... Okay, John, three, yep. 300. Keep an eye on them. 300, yep. okay. Can yeah, you should 300. pick up the valley then. Okay. Thank you, Belka. I see the Z. Yep, yeah, we're just approaching to, yep. Uh, yeah, contact at... So Which means we're a bit too far left, actually, if we're going to do that. Yeah. yeah, we're a mile too far left. Yeah, I have several contacts, I guess it's Cap and the other group. Yeah. We continue, we can shortcut. Roger, with you.
the valley in front of us is what we're looking for, guiding us out to the sea. That's, that's it, yeah, you're in the right valley, that'll take you back to Krill. Yep. Okay, this is the right valley now, is it? Uh, this is the valley of, yeah, if you, is it to your left? Okay, start turning left towards... No, right, 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 sorry. Right, right. Yep. right. Okay, right. That's the valley over there. Okay, so 117 we want. <laughs> okay, oh, cap. Oh, we see triple A. 334, cap. This is three, the valley we need to right Okay, so I just need to follow this valley up you to... Follow this valley, I'll take you straight to Krill. Yes. Okay. Yeah, stand by, just uh, avoiding AA. No worries, um, can we get you ahead in high? Krill, your Yeti, your heading will be... 334. 334 for 15 minutes. Okay, and two minutes. Find a chorus, actually. We're never making that through that triple A alive. <laughs> Side red two. Uh, I'm on your uh, one o'clock. Yeah, I've got you. Mm, that was close. Keep an eye on your up. Stick a new if you like cap on the right heading. Roger, but well, there's some guys two miles on the left. I figured we might want to group up one way or another. Oh, right, they don't know where they're going. All right, fine, we'll go right. They're, right. they're going to get lost. I'm below you, and below you, I'm good. I've got vision. <laughs> guys who are lost on the suit. left, come right to us. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Whoa, who's going to make they're it back? They're in the wrong, you're in the who's right. Who's going to make it back? You hold, yeah, you hold three, whatever it was. Uh, three, 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 four, and you'll get tastings before they will. Right, three, three, zero. Yeah, that day. Cakes before they do. Fight and talk. <laughs> Set two, six, fifty at twelve. <laughs> Roger, yeah. I'm just pushing things up. Well, I know right. who's going to get there last. Yeah. The Hastings we need uh, three, four, one degrees. I'm just following Dave from now. Present position. Because big I've just, I've just taken uh, a bearing from the sun, and it's three, four. It's a very unreliable newspaper. Hastings. I wouldn't take it from them. <laughs> yes, but the page three would be very tasty for you guys. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we made that comment on the way there, we'd be blinded by bait three on the way there, wouldn't we? I'm going to switch to your left hand. Do it around you again. Pull up to your left hand side. All right, now let me just drop a a little thing here. Where are we? There we are. Let me just drop. Let me just drop this in here. Whoops, I've just posted a picture in general. <laughs> in flight, there's no need to go real low level. How are we doing, Val, bro? Uh, just over that hill ahead of us should be uh, the coast. Okay. And FYI, you got a flat gun on your left. Okay, yeah. On your right, sorry. No mm. left. Okay. It's on the left near the hill. Yes, yeah, okay. left. You see it. Yeah. Yeah, I see him because he's shooting at us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wee bit. Yeah, that's it. Come over that way. Who, who put that black on there? I wonder. I don't know, John. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> they actually got shot at at that point. That's why. I, I was know, supposed to be in a meeting there. tonight. Ooh, yeah, but... Well, they the brought level. it forward and I said I'm sorry, but that now interferes with my mission time and I'm not missing it. <laughs> there was a meeting on a Sunday night. Oh, I think it was like testing and all that shit. Sunday nights is sometimes the only time they get to do meetings and things. It's going to get really interesting. One engine 
No yeah. artificial job. What heading do I want here, Valkyrie? 334. Okay. I think that's going to be a bit more of a suggestion in this airplane. Yeah, I'll keep a track on us. I'm going to start to try to maybe climb this dip bit nice and nice whatsoever. I, I think staying better to the low yeah. might do us a favour. You yeah. need 347 now to hit Hastings. At the minute, everything's yeah. a suggestion. I've got my sextant out and I can see the sun behind me. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm receiving uh, cat and mouse signals on the radio set. Oboe. I'm being directed by Oboe. It says 347 to Hastings. <laughs> this direction finding thing on the top of these things, you know, is brilliant. You should try it sometime. But it's Google um, to shame, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You've got Obo, we've got Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. You know, the Germans knew what we were up to with that, so they tried to uh, tried to block it. And then, of course, we miniaturised electronics, which allowed us to get higher frequencies, much higher frequencies. So when we switched to the new system, which was way higher frequencies, we decided to keep the old one in operation and the Germans were still trying to jam the old one and we were using the new ones, which they could not pick up because their electronics wouldn't go high enough in frequency up to VHF. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And then when they found a mosquito that hadn't burned to death because they tried to set fire to them, they, they didn't believe um, the radio set inside, they, they thought it was a, a fake to put them on a, the wrong track, so they completely ignored the electronics. In that case, Velcro, we're going to have to miniaturise it. <laughs> yeah, he, at the moment, he'll bang on, <laughs> yeah. so you just hold course. Right, Bet you're not, you know. Why is it going to be Honey, I Shrank Velcro? Yeah, no, they, are, they are bang on yeah. at the moment. You're going to hit Eastbourne on this way. <laughs> Can I fly to you have to on the group on our 11 club though? No. At the minute I'll be happy to eat England. Oh, Roger, there. Yeah, there we are. Good and We're on the right. Joining them? We're on the right course now. Yeah, you're, you're bang on, John. Just Super. keep holding course. Maybe okay. a little bit right. Yeah. yeah. Keep you on track. Okay. Depends how much here we go. Are, <laughs> Can somebody put the T on in an, an urn? For when we get back, because it might be cold by the time we get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're more optimistic than me because you're saying we are going to get back. So we're better on yeah, would you like the gun side off? Yes. Oh, we're not going to be a prisoner of war, we're just going to freeze to a pop skull in the channel. I can't spend Sorry, time. Sorry, Get on with it. Right. Gun sight off? Yes, please. It's okay. Hold your mind. I'll leave the pito heater on. Switch the gun cam off as well. Yeah. Let's. Uh... Oh, the pito heat on. Uh, yes, please. Check. Isn't it on? Yeah, probably. Oh dear. I think all three I are. I bet it is. I bet you forgot, didn't you? <laughs> no, she's on. I can do with another engine. That'd be quite nice. I can try and fire her up again, but. No, I wouldn't want to unfeather it. Well. <clears throat> There's a lot of bullet to... holes in that wing, mate. Yes, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've not really spent much time looking at it. To be honest. No, you just keep your eyes on the road. Mm. Right, we've still got a hundred gallons in our main tanks, and about a hundred gallons in the wing tanks. Lost yeah. the bottom when I crashed there. Hmm. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Loads of fuel left. That's why we're so slow. We've got too much fuel. You'd rather have it than not. Well, that's true. It's very Unless you're on fire. fire. Yeah, there is that. Because these things did burn quite well. Made from matchsticks, I heard. Yeah, punch your kindling some half-gas goes up quite well, doesn't it? Yeah. Came in kit form. You just got, like, a load of boxer matches and you had to glue them all together. I thought that was your suggestion for Austin, David. <laughs> oh, 
about the IMC again. Single engine IMC is not fun. My official is toppled. Five minutes to run to the coast. I'll reduce a little bit to uh, let you catch up. Go back towards 260. Yep. You're both the one on half high. 240 still. Three, three, four. Oh, you, can, you can take a bearing from the sun. I did. There was it back in 1065. There was this guy called Norman, and he was getting his big army together. And he says to his chief master arms, he says. So what have you got then? He says, oh, we've got this guy here, William. He's got this, like, great sword and sh well, show us what you've got. So William swings his sword around and, and chops some turnips in half and things like that. And he goes, hey, yeah, that guy's pretty good. And, 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 who have you got here then? This is, this is Bert. Bert's got one of these great big axes. He says, what can he do? So he swings it around and chops some things up and all that lot. And he goes, oh, that's good. And he says, and who's this? He says, this is Eric. And what does Eric do? Eric's an archer. Oh, come on, then Eric shows what you can do. So Eric takes aim at this, this dummy 300 metres away, and he lets fly with an arrow. And this, this arrow goes up, down, whizzes round, bounces around, and lands right at, at William the Con uh, Conqueror's feet. And he goes, you're going to have to watch him. He'll put some buggers I am. <laughs> <laughs> Be blinking, Harold, it'll work its way out. <laughs> yeah, he's put a scratch. Says, would you like your salmon and cucumber sandwiches now before we land? Very much. Starting off. Yes. Yes. Let's chomp on those. Oh, well done, Mr. Mr. Pickles has actually been holding the beer outside the window, <laughs> so it's nicely chilled. Is that right? Yes. I can't do that, I'll lose too much airspeed. How incredibly cool, In, pun intended. How are we looking about for? Hey, that gives me an idea. Maybe if we strap beer barrels to the bottom of Spitfires and fly them across the channel, they'd be cold by the time we get them to the guys. We could call them beer bombs. Better eyes than that me. sounds like. Surprisingly enough, that was Picard. Who was sadly killed was on it? the road. Yeah. That's oh. taken from the movie Target for Tonight. He 
it sounded uh, like a British comedian that did Kevin and Perry. These things should be dead ahead. I'm not sure what's worse, Dave. This, flying through this thick stuff. Or flying on your fourth mission, dead of night. <laughs> yeah. Andrew. Falcon's mission was traumatic. <laughs> it was. Ah, there we go. Hastings just off our stubble. I'll try doing it in single engine. It's worse. Your landing's going to be fun. Mm. Well, not as much as once the engine, other engine shut down. There's no way in talk, is there? Once I close yeah. the throttle, just then you're a glider. Indeed. That'd be fine. Have you flown with John before? <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you know about his landings? <laughs> well, landing with cap is very easy. All you do is climb out this window. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that where I learned it from? Well, you follow Mr. Pickles because she's out first. She's seen many rats leave a sinking ship and she knows how to get out. I've got to say, David, the only Ryanair airplane I've been on with you, I went out on the slide, if I recall. Sounds about right. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't, uh, I haven't done the next navigation. Or is someone ahead Does of us? It really matter. We are home. I see someone ahead of us. Ship. Yeah, we should be, uh... I wonder who that is. Probably Matrix. Uh, How far are we looking about, though? Actually, I don't think there's a, a thing on here to tell me which way to go once we hit Hastings. That uh, sounds good. Have we got any indication if, we've, if the bombing actually worked? Uh, it did, because there was um, smoke coming out of the um, facility when I went over. There's a lot of fire and smoke when uh, Cannon went over. It says 002 from uh, Hastings to Detling. Sounds about right, yep. How are we looking about, Greg? Uh, about 20 miles. Heading east. looking good? Uh, heading yeah, 5 degrees right. Yeah, looking good. Okay. okay. You're half way. Half oh, okay. <laughs> 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 the first half was terrifying enough. <laughs> Barely staying in the sky. Well, and then we're nearly on dry land, mate. That's all we've got to worry about. Then at least we get beer in. Oh, yeah. Uh, next to the first mate. So, how long to about this, you reckon? Oh, right. What speed are we going? I can't even see the point. Um, we're doing about 190. Yeah, that's be there about June, I think. <laughs> well, at least the water will be a bit warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Okay, cool. Can it I'll update you in ten minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not getting patient about it out of uh Hastings. Please say opening that door may um, detrimentally affect the airworthiness of this aircraft. I won't care about my being it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, you're only halfway across the channel. Mm -hmm. If I was you, I'd try and find an airfield to land on close to his Oh, where's the fun in that? Precisely. If you can make it to England, you can make it a little bit further. I've hidden some about cherry bake balls in that wing, I'm getting back there for them. <laughs> They're all rashing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've told us that you've hidden them, which is fine. That's all right, young wife's looking for me. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pickles can <laughs> sniff out a cherry bake roll from 15 miles away. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to flying through this um, cloud that we've got in our 12 at the minute. Not relishing that very much. 
Will you will put fantastic weather in these missions? Uh, if this is how it was. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy. We've got quite a sexy formation going on here. You're right. You've got the boys with you, that's why. I can't see it, so I don't believe it. Oh, we that can't is. See it. it didn't happen. <laughs> you need to come back well, here. If I didn't have my debug it. windows open, let me get rid of those. How, how might uh, Ghost see this if he wasn't looking at it right now? Hey. Oh, right. Um, wait till the video comes out. <laughs> that's what I would do. Get the plug in, come on. We'll have the heroic return. <laughs> Fashionably late. <laughs> <laughs> Once all the tea and medals have been handed out. Huh? So we'll get gongs for this. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry bake rolls. And check well, yeah, that. That's yeah, I'm different. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. that's all the good stuff is gone. Just a couple of nightclubs left over. If, if Mr. Pickles doesn't find my bloody bake rolls first. <laughs> 12 miles away, mate. Well, till Hastings then. Still yeah, yeah. on a fucking track. To be honest, I'll be happier once once move the land. Yeah, me too. I won't feel so bad about bailing out on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, those things are awful. I could imagine. <clears throat> that zip on your mouth is no good. I forgot some fast patrol um, so we can rescue boats. Hopefully. That's so good. Have a nice voice. Just hold this one. Yeah. Hold this line. You are what? Seven miles. In the I'm just, yeah. I'm just heads down looking at the six pack. Looks like we're turning. Airfield dead ahead. Yeah. Off. Hold it there, we're level. Yeah. We are home. We are yeah, home. Just, we are home. To leave my bloody bike world alone. Oh, just <laughs> take us out, we'll do a uh, 180 <laughs> shortly and break on the uh, run through. Okay. Well, this will be on the ground. Switching tanks. Tank swapped. You wanna, if, you, if you're really fussy, mm -hmm. come left a little bit. Five degrees, maybe. Yeah, at the minute, outside, yeah, more I'm turning left now. I know, like I said, if you're fussy, <laughs> if you're not, just you keep going. I'm trying to turn left then. Uh, we've got four miles to go and we hit the coast. We may literally hit the coast, so. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if we don't get much more altitude, we'll hit the cliff. <laughs> I see mass of the air anyhow, they just skip over it, don't they? You just need to stick your gear down it. Just yeah, oh, yeah you just bounce off of it. It's fine. Yeah, precisely. Smash through somebody's house. It's all good. They just walk away and go, the Americans have landed. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna find some oh, big That's a nice picture. We're just to the right of Hastings, but it's two miles. Okay, I'm not fussy. There's coast. I think we'll roll out on the centre line. Good, we've got some coastline. Uh, I can't see it yet. Where is it's there, trust me. Okay, okay, chaps on the left, break left. left. Chaps on the right, break right when I call break. I think I see something out there in the haze. Getting on it? Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, we're gonna make it back. Come on. We made it this break, right? We're not as high as I thought. No, we, we did come over there pretty low. Mm -hmm. At least I can judge your altitude now. Okay. What sort of heading do we want? Zero two zero. Hey, Chance, break. Break. Zero two Go. zero. Going left to zero two zero. Right. 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 Zero two. Zero two. Oh, zero two zero. Downwind. Yeah. Oh, zero right. zero two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Zero two zero. I was thinking I was going yeah. the wrong way. Yeah. And guess what? Oh, well. Don't don't listen to me. I'm, I'm too <laughs> okay. drunk. I'm drunk yeah. on uh... <laughs> adrenaline. Success. <laughs> yeah. I'm drunk. Oh, sure. I've had I've, I've had all the uh, morphine out the first day. Yeah, please, <laughs> In preparation for a crash. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you could have shared it for me. <laughs> you know what? Flaps first. I've done it. At least they'll all be on the ground. Oh, right. And we get there, so we can go straight in. Ooh, that's that's true. And most of them have gone. Having a couple of greens. Right. Yeah. Good. Skill. I've extended out, uh, and I'm turning base now. We're 26 Good. miles away, mate. Okay. Number three. I'll update you in ten minutes. Sure. I'll hold um, zero two zero. Just trying to keep the air speed up a little bit. Let's go flaps down, gears down. Except going in number four. Let's yeah, go turn one final. Down. Turning base. Do any of the typhoons make it back? I think one. Excellent. That was a most excellent trip, Cap. That's good, wasn't it? It was indeed. The more terrifying, the better, hey? We're going to miss all the crashes. One of the best. I don't even think we've got a hole. Have we, have we got any holes? No. Oh, and a J turn at the end. Excellent. Yep. No, not, not a single bloody hole in the aircraft. That that must be a first for us. Uh, right, who's landing? Skill just approaching the wrong way. Let's go. Take care of this another one first for, for us. Someone just aborted. Victory roll. Cool. Change, change the fuel tanks quick. Oh shit. Change the tank. Change the tank quick. Can a flight red one is going down? On yeah, okay, she's back alive. Mm. On final, red one. I'm just on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm losing airspeed. On, I'm losing altitude on purpose to get our airspeed yeah. back. Otherwise, we're not going to um, be isometric. Mm. Sorry, man. Okay. Sorry, Sorry, you're you're we still have fuel in there. It's okay. We've got safe airspeed. Right now, on uh, Good park yeah, there. We still have Why? fuel in there. Okay. Uh, no, we've got fuel in the left, but not in the right. Uh, well, I get well, it's not reading like that for me, but okay. Yeah, we've burned everything out of the right. Welcome back, wherever you are. Oh, oh that was a little bit sheer terror just before we get back. That, that was a little bit sheer. Let me hmm. just check out ahead in. Zero two zero. Start back red one file. Yeah, head. You nicked my call sign again now, David. No, that's fine. Yeah, you should be yeah. good. <laughs> you reclaimed it. Okay. God, that was a moment. Well held, mate. Okay, that was a proper that was, moment. Now's a good quick uh, on your behalf to get the change changed. <laughs> I think my voice was a bit more. Um, it was like, oh my god, the tanks changed as well. Quick, quick, do it. <laughs> At least problems shot turned pretty quickly, otherwise, that would have been. That would have been disaster. Problem shooting would have. Yeah, if we took a bit longer problem shooting, that would have been a bit stuffed. And to be honest, if I was on my own, I'd probably been a bit stuffed trying to change that quickly. I did bind them on this. Mm -hmm. 
Let's have a look. Where are we? Fourteen miles away. Shut right. down, Auntie. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. Trying to look down at that. Don't look at nothing. Open the <laughs> fucking window. Let me look at whatever you want to look at. Okay. Uh, I'm amazed we've actually made it this far back, all the way from pretty much the target to here. Yeah. I know. We definitely deserve a golden for this. <laughs> I think <laughs> expectable. Well, it would be very nice. Guys, have landed. Shut down, books. Everything's cool. Everything's secure. Really. <laughs> Guess it's Spit Standard and Spitfire Base. Don't know if any made it back. I mean, one, one followed us back. And definitely some wreckage out there. Hmm. That's not a nice way to talk about my aeroplane. Hmm. Cannon 2 turning final. Oh. Call it like it is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Took it twice at the end of the runway. We are parked basically next to each other. I, I, oh, yeah. crew chief is going to be so happy that there's no holes in this, but just a bit of a damaged tailgate. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any Spitfires in the group. Yeah, both crashed. Double check F two. Awkward. Oh, did they? Awkward. Yeah, I guess during uh, while landing, so not in the mission. I'm a bit concerned Deppling's on top of that hill, and we've not got much height. Another mozzie just landing then. Oh, uh, do a slow, lazy climb, maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to maybe. just ease us up, but it's, again, it's more suggestive. <laughs> <laughs> it's more an advisory than we're still, we are still eight miles away. Okay. This is going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be very interesting to watch me jump yeah, out before he gets to the airfield. It reminds me no. of Memphis Bell, the film, when he comes in with yeah, the I, I, and... Are you not going to use landing gear? My, my friend was in that film. He just flung his Mustang in it. Yeah. Well, unlike him, we're not going to use landing gear. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see how we set up. Oh. So... Ghost Rider is still on one engine? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's insane. Fly! Hey, we're doing, doing right. really well. We're seven miles away. <laughs> right, Milo crashed. Brilliant, Milo. I say flying single engine through this weather when you can't see is um, mildly terrifying. Fly crash? How did you fly it, crash fly? Actually, honestly, crash, crashed three times. First uh, <coughs> by a complete Christ DCS flight. freeze crashed into the sea when I thought okay I can they are not so far away I can catch up with a group so it took off uh, flown actually I got to like two miles behind the group when my engine blew nice and then I saw okay vintage <coughs> just uh, took off maybe I just hang me uh, next to vintage and he will bring me eventually to the group and at least on exit fly with you back and uh, when I flew vintage in information over front I got hit by a random flag side that put me in the tail drained me out of all my oil so oil pressure uh, dropped and my uh, prop went into full uh, zero pitch poor old uh... mm -hmm. Detling's just to the is that left case, guys, thank you for taking that flag shell for me just try to left yeah, it's just to the left somewhere. Three miles away, so we're three miles and somewhere, probably about your 11 okay. o'clock. What I would like about is you get ready with the gear. So I'll get you to drop it when I see the airfield to try and get close enough. We'll go out best. Straighten up, it should be right ahead of us somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna veer off the runway, mm -hmm. don't go right because everybody's parked along the right hand side. my decision. We'll see how we go. Uh, Leslie's Castle. Is that it over there? Uh, 
council, I don't think he's getting in yet. Is that it? Just there to the left? It's on your 10 o'clock. Yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Turn in white, he's in your favour. Yeah, turn this to our left, Mark. Oh. Left nine. Here, here yeah, guys. Left, base, left, base. left on the base. Yeah. Left on the base. We're right about it. We're right about it. Okay, we'll go around and yep. to, want to turn us onto a right hand circuit so we don't want to be turning into the dead engine. Do you watch them lose their engine now? Please don't. <laughs> I'm bailing out, mate. What are you talking about? See you there, boy. There they are. Welcome back, boy. We're turning, we're turning right and we'll bring it around the land. I honestly don't think that's, <laughs> that's, that's a sail bailing altitude. Yes. I'll take my chances. Uh, David, are you going to put in the strong advert now, please? Yeah, 1,500 feet is uh, certainly a safe altitude on the strong. Mm. Yeah, just put the gear down course. and then jump. Um, so just stand by. Uh, yeah. Want to just keep the airspeed up. How long does the gear take on this thing? I don't know. 20 yeah. seconds. Go and stick it now. Gear down. Gear down. Sure. Gear going down. Okay, call it Two when I have the greens. Place your bets, Del, please. Place your bets. Uh, and mm -hmm. flaps, please. 50 50. How many? Just All of them. Just, just, just not coming down. Oh. Yeah, You've got no gear. gear. Still on road. Your gear's not coming down. It's a belly landing. Gear's not good. Belly landing. Belly, belly, belly landing. Oh, she's very pitchy. Do you want to go around again? Nah, no, it's um, good. Uh, he's well. committed. Or. You can't. You committed now. Yeah, you got a full flap down. Don't try and go around. No. Oh, save it. Save it. Oh, is this still oh good? God. It's still good. Nice. <laughs> and it's almost good. in position. It, it is, actually. Mate, that it's a good perfect. job. It's an ice rink, still isn't it? In, still in shape. Oh, what a great ending. Can you props an engine? Because you secured the engine. Beautiful. Bryant and May Matches yes. would like to have a word. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Fuel off. All right. Damn. Well done, guys. Sure. Uh, it's, Door past, open. it's past 11, so I can't stay for a debrief or anything, but well done. Lovely, lovely mission. Yeah, I'm thanks saying. for all coming along. And yes. Yeah. How the hell do we make that back? Great mission. <laughs> Wing and a prayer. Wing and a prayer. I'll thanks see you guys good. later. Later. Bye.